Teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. And down he goes, the 39-yard line. Hey, that's a pretty good return there to open this game up. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. They come out in a five-wide set. He's at midfield. They'll bring him down at the 48. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want it. It's first and 10. Ball on the 48. He wants it all going long. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. That ball had interception written all over it, but the defender couldn't hang on. I think the quarterback there was a little too intent on hitting that receiver. He might not be able to get the pass off. And they get the sack. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. Davis is back to receive. He's tackled at the 27. TCU's offense, a lot of times they can spread things out and they can really be versatile offensively, but when you got a wide receiver like this, it really helps the coach. It does, and it, and it continues to help with what they're trying to do. They're trying to find matchups, and when you have one player like this that the defense has got to be aware of, they're going to spread you out, try to find a one-on-one -on -one matchup, and if you spend too much time with this one player, they've got some other weapons to make you pay for it. Nice job of picking up the Mike linebacker blitz and hitting his man for the first down. First and 10, ball on their own 43. it up the middle for a nice run. Gain of six on the draw play. That'll bring up second and three. Yard line. Nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 38. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. receiver and he tackles him hard at the 33 yard line from the 33 yard line it's third down and they've got all their dbs in there to match up against the five wide set completes it and he's hit hard immediately they couldn't get the first down. Well, here they were hoping to get a few extra yards after the catch. Give the defense credit. They held him short. The kick is up. 
and he missed it right. No good. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Catches it, and he's punished. They're about four yards away here on second down. Wants to throw outside, and this one's going to get intercepted. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. They hook up over the middle. And he's taken down at the 44. That makes it first and ten. First and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That'll make it second and four. Get to that quickly. Tackle at about the 23-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball in the 23. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He gets rid of this one. Fights forward to about the 23. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Passes to the back incomplete. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped down on him. So it's fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. TCU could take the lead with this field goal. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. At the 30. And he's taken down at the 32-yard line. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change the game plan. Throws it in a hurry. And down he goes at the 46-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46. Gets out to around the 45. That brings in second and one. They come out in an empty backfield. Here's the run right. He's got nowhere to go. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. That's a great tackle at the 45-yard line. After one quarter of play, and we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. 3-0, TCU. Quick pass. He gets hit out of bounds to the 38-yard line. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. That makes it first and ten. Run there. Back in 
time. Picks up about four yards on the play. From the 34-yard line. Second down. And a quick throw. And he hits him hard at the 32. But he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. This is the eighth play of this drive. He fights forward to about the 29. Fourth down, and it looks like they're going to go for it again. Worked for him last time. Five wide. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's level at the 19-yard line. This defense better change their attitude. They've got to know by now that this offense isn't going to be complacent at all. So they better start playing with a little bit more energy themselves. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. Decent run here, right side. It's second and six. Ball on the 15. They'll spread the field with five wide. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. Here's the 12th play of the drive. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Here's the screen to the wideout. And he's tackled right around the eight-yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. He's gobbled up in the backfield. He wasn't decisive at all on that option. And once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. This is the 14th play of this drive. He's tackled at the three-yard line. Touchdown. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. And yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Georgia to kick. A long 15-play, 68-yard drive. And it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run in the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's taken down around the 34-yard line. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And they make the stop right around the 36-yard line. Huge play for both the quarterback and receiver. But it all starts with the big fellas up front who provided the time to get the quarterback a chance to throw. Zips it to the back. They'll get him for a loss. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, gave a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Caught with room to work. He's knocked out of bounds right around the 26-yard line. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. He's got it out to his tight end. Tackle made at about the 21. Quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. From the 21-yard line, second down. Steps out of bounds at the 15. And this play is number eight on the drive. They go to 
the screen here, and the halfback's got it. They'll bring him down at the nine-yard line. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. That's a smart call to exploit the pass rush and open up some space for him. The blockers did a good job of selling that play. And he is drilled at the seventh. The Horn Frogs call a timeout. That's their second of the half. This is the tenth play of this drive. to about the five-yard line. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Kicks away. And he's got it. TCU is lining up to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both offenses have played it pretty close to the best so far in this one. Yeah, because they've been so conservative, it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant. Let's see an offense open it up and take a few chances. Georgia with a one-point lead. He goes out of bounds at the 33. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. And he's hit immediately. Gain of six on the pass, and that's good for a first down. Heads up play by the quarterback to find his receiver in traffic and get the ball into his hands. Throws incomplete. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signal straight. Well, I think he came down with it, but from up in the booth, it's hard to tell. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after review, they decide that this call should be reversed. From their own 44-yard line, it's second down. They come out in a five-wide set. Brought down around the 49-yard line. Mauer gains seven yards with a catch there. And how about the poise of this quarterback to locate his receiver, pass the sticks, and get in the ball? That was a great throw. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. He wants it all. Intercepted. It's the junior corner. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 34. Passing into coverage, and this one's going to be picked off. And he's taken down at the 40. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it, as it should be the last play before the half. He wants it all going long. Throws it, and it's caught for the touchdown. Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. And he converts the extra point. That's the end of the half, and believe it or not, folks, it's still anyone's ball game. 14-6. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 41. 
Quick tipped. Excellent pass defense. You've got to be able to make a lightning quick reaction to bat the ball away like he did right there. That makes it second and ten. Let's go. Red 18. Tackle around the 47 yard line. From the 47 yard line, it's first down. Quick throw, incomplete, wanted his receiver. That makes it second and ten. Going long. It's picked off, and it's the sophomore. And they'll return this one all the way. It looked like the pass was sailing out of reach, but he just climbed the ladder and made a spectacular interception. This sophomore corner's got a ton of potential at that position. These coaches are really excited about what he'll do for the program over the next few years. First and ten. Ball on the 40. Georgia holds an eight-point advantage. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. He's at the 40. He makes his way to about the 38. From the 38-yard line, first down. Down he goes at the 41-yard line. Really good play here and run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes, and he was able to get through for a loss. Here we go. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, and he's tackled at the 32-yard line. They're about four yards away here on third down. That'll bring up third and four. That's a great tackle at the 23-yard line. Makes it to the 11. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. From the 11-yard line. First down. Let it go, and it's caught for the touchdown. And that makes it three scoring tosses for him. He's been letting it fly today, and his receivers are making plays. That is a great touchdown. He hits the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. George is continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. And he tackles him hard at the 36-yard line. That's great execution. Quarterback made a nice throw, and the receiver was able to go up and make the play. First and 10, ball on the 36-yard line. He makes his way to about the 45. That brings up second and one. Ready? Mike 10. Mike 10, Mike 10. And he 
carries the ball for a nice game. From the 50, it's first down. He's got it with room to run. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Looking for his man, incomplete. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. Jackson is back deep to return the punt. Booming kick. This punt bounces into the end zone and this will be a touchback. Georgia's built on their halftime lead here in the third quarter, Kirk. Well, I think they've done a really good job of finding some matchups to their advantage, and they've just gone after this defense, and it's allowed them to put up some points on the board. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. He gets to about the 31-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 31. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He's tackled at about the 31. Five wide. Slides down to the ground. From their own 32-yard line. Third down. Quick throw out to the receiver. And they make the stop right around the 40. Davis is the deep man awaiting the return. Fielded at the 19. Tackle made at the 30-yard line. Well, this turned out to be a pretty good ball game, and we've got one quarter to go. 21-6, Bulldog. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Their last drive ended in a punch, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. Tackle made at about the 25-yard line. It's second and 15. Ball on their own 25. He hits him hard at the 33-yard line. That makes it third and seven. And here's a quick throw. Big yardage on the catch, and he's immediately pushed out of bounds. The defense has got to play until the game is over. You can't give up some big plays and give this team some life and give them a chance to maybe tie this game up. You've got to close the door. Now it's first and ten with the defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. bring him down at the 38-yard line. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield.
He's at the 30. He's taken down right around the 28-yard line. That's good. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Makes it out to about the 19. it out to maybe the 19 yard line and this play is number eight on the drive they'll bring him down for a loss on the play So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. Just under three to go in regulation. Under heavy pressure with the pass incomplete. to the tailback. Brought down right around the 20. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He has some room. He's out to the 30. Makes it to the 41. From their own 41 yard line. First down. Makes it out to about the 49. McIntosh gains around eight yards on the run. TCU will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. Nice run up the middle. And that's a first down. First down, and now they have an opportunity to run some more time off the clock. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. That was the junior linebacker who'll get credit with the tackle there. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Just under two to go in the game. yard line. From the 19 yard line. First down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. You're an offensive coordinator. You love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. This is the eighth play of this drive. And that should do it. Our final tally in this one. 21-6, Georgia. 
That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.